Welcome to Oracle interview question series. Sometimes uh, the interviewer they may ask like uh, I am giving that one column with one row I am giving. Okay, This one row it is having that comma separated values. Uh, I need to convert uh, this values into that each of that rows I need to convert it. Uh, okay, This way the interviewer they may ask. Uh, and uh, I got that one uh, in, uh, one questions uh, on the comment sessions. Uh, one of the learner of uh, from SQL, they posted uh, like I need uh, that uh, explainer of this uh, interview questions. Uh. So here they are given that uh, three names they are given with that comma separated values uh, from one row. And the column two it is uh, 10 it is presented. I need to convert in this format. Uh, okay. Based on this, uh, if you want to write that queries in the SQL first uh, we should try on this simple way we can try it then we can move on the next uh, questions uh, okay now we can start how we can do this one see here I have created that one table and I inserted the values also once if I execute uh, select star from the table 0 1 we are getting that values okay now I need to convert uh, this values to our required output that is each of this character in need to be convert for two rows uh, that is a in the first row b it is second row c is third row like that i need to convert how we can move in this one by step by step first step first we need to calculate uh, the comma okay how we can able to calculate the commas means with help of a count that is regular expression count for this i am writing that query select a name my column name and a regular expression count okay this is a function with help of this we can able to count the commas here i need to take that column names comma which character you want to count it that is i need to count here comma okay from table name table 0 1 select this statement and run it see here the total number of the comma it is presented sixth time it is presented and calculate that each of the characters see here a it is first and b is second c is third d it is fourth e it is 5, f it is 6 and g it is 7. How many character it is there means 7 character it is presented. Okay, so for that we need to add plus 1 in this functions. Why need to add means after adding this 1 we are getting that value it is 7 here we are getting. Okay, so now you can get to know that why we are adding in this second step okay just uh, copy this statement paste it down once you are pasting down means then uh, after that a uh, table 0 1 okay you want to write that connect by level here this connect by level class uh, what will do means it will uh, give the level of that record presented okay here i need to present uh, this function copy this uh, particular uh, function and paste it here uh, this uh, function output it means we already get to know that seven it is presented once if i use the connect by classes i can get it seven rows i can get it okay now select the statement and execute it once we are executing me see here we are getting seven rows we are getting with help of the connect by classes okay this is step two now we'll move on to the step three so for that i am writing that in line view select star from my table limit is table zero one okay and here we can write our inline views for that i am taking the dual statement 
okay in that uh, dl select a level for that alias i am giving that l from dl and uh, use the connect by classes uh, connect by level less than or equal here i am writing the my table okay and also i am taking my count of the commas i am taking just uh, take this one okay from my table name it is table 0 1 okay now close this one okay and uh, execute uh, the queries once we are executing means see here we are getting that uh, the values uh, that is level we are getting sir okay so one two three like up to seven we are getting up now based on this level we can able to extract the the string in this name column sir that is for that level one the position of that uh, one it is a the position of two it is b here and uh, third one it is it is uh, c like that we need to find out uh, okay now we can write uh, the step four method here if i want to extract uh, my string means so that time what i want to use means i can use a substring concept uh, so i'm using that regular expression substring within this give the name that is your column name then you that slash w it will indicate that what are the datas in that name it will fetch the datas okay and you are giving the starting position it is one and ending position with that level okay just close this one okay and also you are giving the table name it is table zero one now within this uh, you can just uh, copy this one and paste it here okay once you are executing this one means we will get uh, the exact uh, the data as we can get get it uh, okay so this way we can able to find out that uh, what is that our uh, data as available from this okay and this way it is able to we can get the data as a, with the help of that regular expression substrings are. that is, is it is extracting the substrings after that you are writing that inline views you are using the dual tables with help of the dual table you are using that connect by classes are. in the connect by classes you are adding the regular expression count it will count the uh, commas that is it uh, the this output it is when we are executing means it is a 7 we are getting okay so we are telling that connect by level 7 rows okay so for that reason only we are getting 7 rows output here okay this way we can able to find out that our exact output okay thank you so much we will see that in the upcoming videos oracle interview questions series and also I have posted a uh, IACS uh, uh, concept as well as the uh, data warehousing concept also I have posted. Please check that uh, end of that uh, our videos. You can get it uh, that more questions. Uh, and also please do subscribe for that uh, our channel. Thank you so much.